Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19, I'm Andy and this is Let's Play on the Hofbergen map. So, gathering these bales, which we did a little bit on the last episode, well, we'll continue with it. And then I think we're gonna do some fertilizer spreader, spreading on this grass field, so we might get one load more out of it. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Early autumn, temperatures aren't that high. We might not get... Well, we, we have hay in our hay loft, so we could get grass and dry that into hay, or we could make it in silage. Not entirely sure which we should do. Um, so I need to figure that one out, but I have some a few days in the game before I have to figure it out, so... Helper D has completed its task. I think that's the cedar or the fertilizer. I, I think it's the cedar. Let's see how much. I still have a little bit manure left. that in the one up there is a bit off here I think. Where how do I get this? Oh, this is gonna be a mess. It's in here somewhere. I'm not even close to being on where it is. Crabs are sort of weird when they where they end up sometimes. Not the best stack. No. That will do. Yeah, so we'll go up to this one. I think that's no, that's not done. How much is left? Three thousand liters. Uh, where are we? So it's a bit left there. Does fertilize? Yes. No, doesn't. Problem is, I don't know why how it opened up down there. Come on, please work. Don't stop yet. So, um, so if we go in here and switch to horse, horse paddock, you know, paddock, horse, is it a paddock? I guess. Is 
think that had like 6,000 liters in it, so. We might as well use everything we have. So. So is this done? No. plant also so then we'll continue with the next field and then we'll plant oilseed radish on the rest so we're going to do a lot of oilseed radish what we're going to do is done cover crops on every field we need to buy a cultivator in the spring but that's okay that's like, well it's an investment but what well, i guess cultivator is okay it's not a ton of money we don't even need to buy the biggest one they have but a decent decent cultivator is sufficient we need to also buy a plow for that field we need to plow a few fields we need to spread some lime also and then we'll do that in the spring lots of things will be going on in the spring so oil seed radish doesn't use a lot of seed if you can tell Yes, you can tell from the amount of seeds we're using. We're losing, we're using quite a lot more fertilizer, though. I don't know if you would drive over the newly planted crop. Maybe not. So, um, in real life, they actually do this with. Um, some other stuff they use um, use other stuff for this um, they sometimes spread it by plane so airplane they will go fly over a field spreading it they uh, from what I would tell a lot of people try to uh, depend on where they're doing it in the world uh, the geographic location or the weather no, the climate actually they try to uh, plant cover crops before they harvest so they'll have a bit, little bit of cover crops actually already up when they plant uh, when they start uh, harvesting which is interesting but it also makes it's not possible here to do that because everything gets reset when you when you plant it but it's kind of cool cool concept and I totally get it Here and then we're gonna go. Uh, we'll go back towards the other side before we turn on hide well help here and then we'll go and fix the last bit of manure stuff I'm a little unsure maybe I should keep this tractor or not I, I don't know one part of me wants to keep it another one goes like ah I don't need it I could get a small tractor I could save the money I don't need this big of a tractor actually so we could save it. Not even for the f um, the manure spreader. We need this big of a tractor. We don't have an equipment on big enough to actually justify having in this amount of horsepower. 
it's nice to have, don't get me wrong, but I don't really need it. A helper, I will go here. We might have to refill this with some manure and then we need to go and sort out the last piece. But we might not have enough manure to do that actually. Let's end that. And we have a bit down here which we need to do, or well, it won't do it. But I don't know how much you have in horse. It's 3000 liters, so maybe we could do it. But I'm a little unsure. I don't think we can start this with hired helper. Actually, we could. Okay, that's good. Go here. Like so. See if it will work. Maybe it will work. Looks like it's working. I think so. Okay, so that's empty. Uh, we don't have cow pasture, cow stable. I think we could go. Let's see, horse paddock, uh, cow stable. Try cow stable. It's empty. <laughs> um, okay, it's not empty. Just didn't go off. I could really go by. It doesn't matter, it's completed. So, okay. So, actually, we need to refill it a little bit. Oh, we'll leave that a bit, I guess. So at least we fertilized a few of the fields without with the stuff we had, so that saves us a little bit of money. I always like saving money, so that's good. Clean this off. And then we'll curious to see how far these have come. So, uh, two points. <laughs> so this is going to take a while in the game. This is totally understandable because I guess it takes quite a while to get the compost, but will the most realistic way of handling this is that it will probably be ready for spreading on the field in the springtime. So we'll spread that on our on our oil seed radish and then we'll cultivate everything into ground. Hopefully we'll get the, re the rest of the levels of fertilization we need. Planters over there. I'm going to try to plant some corn on the next next year in the game. What we want to do is actually grab the chickens and go take them to the butchers. It's a slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse sounds awfully terrible. Butcher sounds much nicer. <laughs> it's still the same thing, though, but it sounds nicer. So we'll go up and grab our uh, trailer. Here. So 
So you can put like a hundred in there in this, which is good. We'll grab hundred and pull that get those down to our butchers. You we'll grab the bale which is in the field peeled also. If I I'll probably keep forgetting it. Alright, we have two of these telehandlers, which I'm not a little unsure if we need to, but we have those. That's good. Still haven't figured out how to get pairs of the trees. I don't know how to get the. Uh, yeah, of course I missed it. something no. oh, I got snagged or something sometimes you get snagged on things and you, you really don't okay so one, two three four five six seven you get a hundred in here Go here and check our chick group. It's 96, so actually, we're gonna put one, two, three, four back. So 100, good. Now we can take these down. I, I don't think I've showed you, but I'm gonna take these down to the butchers and show you how to do stuff there and unload things. It was a bit tricky actually get it down there. The butch is not like mm, was a bit tricky to get it in there. I think yeah, time wise, good. It's open. I think it's open like nine or something. So here's the pear trees. I don't know how to get stuff off them. I don't see any pears. So maybe they're not done yet. Maybe I need to give it the manure. I have no idea. I haven't tried that. Maybe that I need. Maybe I need to do that. I should just sell them off. I don't know if you can cut them down. I, I do know you can sell them because they are under. Your, if you go into your, your garage, you can find them there. But I don't know. Anyway, now we're doing chickens. So focus on the chickens, Andy. So the butcher is in town. A lot of stuff is in the ta in town. So we'll go here and get that. Morning beacons on because we're gonna back in here. Did I put it on? No. Here. No, it's on. Sorry, turn on the realistic beacon feature because I think that's pretty cool. I like that in FS17, that was really cool. So let's see, get this in here. And what I did, usually do, and I don't know if this is the correct way, because somehow it's a little bit slow. Try to back it up quite far, and then I unfold it using X, or open it. Like so. And then I back it up a little bit more, as far as I can. And then I press R. This comes up, but you press R again a few times, then it starts open. It suddenly opens. You can go 100. Just I, uh, it goes like, oh, this is a lot. But if you just go the other way, go 100 and start. So then it's this type of thing. So like it's weird. It can't be unloaded, it says, but it's unloaded. So it 
pull that up. I don't, I think it only holds 100 butchers, so you can't really you wait for it to unload. So it's like looks terrible. Right? <laughs> Poor pigs. No meat and stuff. So we're gonna we can sell. Um. Hello, can I talk to you? So, uh, poultry meat is actually, it holds 100 uh, liters for some reason, but that's the same as 100, 100 uh, chickens. So. And it produces here, and it comes out here, so it ends up in, in this box. And when that's full, you can just move it and then go sell it at your own farm or whatever you want, where you ever want to sell it. So. It takes a while to produce it, and you need to go back and uh, take the boxes and, and put them somewhere else because I think it's full that little station there. Um. Turn off the beacons. This is a big tractor, but I don't know. Yeah. I really like this one, but I don't know, maybe it's stupid to keep it. If we don't need to keep it, we can use some money for other stuff. We run it quite a lot, so. Uh, it might be silly to keep it if we don't need it. Ah, we'll keep it. I'll keep I'm keeping it. Just like it. So I can keep it. Okay, um, let's see, let go back into the farm and we'll, we'll, we won't fill it up with poultry until we're done with other stuff. We'll keep holding that, holding that off a bit. Bread. So a few done. So grab these and put them in here. One more. It's one more. That's full. Here we go. We'll put this in here. We have we already have one of these in here, so we'll we'll put another one, and they they get empty when the store closes later. So and then we'll put the poultry in here, in the cooler. Meanwhile, we can go and put this in here. This one I figured out. The the greenhouses I haven't figured out how to do. Open this. Have one of those. We need to buy a few more bags of these. That's used quite a lot. Okay, that's doing its thing. Actually, what we want to do is bring this one down here because I can't figure this one out. I don't know what to do. I have these boxes which supposedly you put letters in, but can't. I don't know how to do that pick it up, throw it, I can do a lot of things with it, but I can't get letters in it. This is the wrong kind of tool. Oh well, um, so if anyone has a clue how to do this, please let me know. I would love to know. Close that. We'll grab this and bring it down. We're gonna stop and get some rye flour, which I think is done. 
the mill. We have whole grain, a lot of whole grain also, but we need a trailer to get that out. Doesn't use a ton of ton of this, so I thought I was like I have it so much, I have 200,000 liters at the farm, actually I could probably go sell some of that because we don't need that much why? if I just keep like one field dry we'll have a ton right always it doesn't use that much when it, when it produces when it produces the bread so We, we could probably go sell some rye and get some more money that way. So 80 kilometers, I don't know if that's the maximum wood trailer in Germany. It's the maximum wood trailer in Sweden anyway. So Even though this, this is a German map, we'll keep it realistic Swedish wise. I have 15 degrees. But we don't have anything to mow, so otherwise we could mow that grass that grass field we could probably turn it into hay. Well we have a straw blower. So we'll put it in there if we need more hay. Uh, I don't think we need more hay actually. We'll turn it into silage if we get one more cut. Well we'll just suffice with two. Off, unload that, turn this off, and then we'll go and should put that in here. Have some more bags in there. Let's see, we'll grab this one. A lot, quite a lot of rye. Well, actually, well, wonder how I did that. It's amazing. I flipped the trailer. What time do we have? Do a little bit of that one there. But we'll do that on the next episode. Anyway, thank you for watching Hoff Bergman Reloaded for Farming Simulator 19. I'm Andy. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment or share. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.